direct a comment to a specific collaborator. Let's go to Google Docs and take a look. So here we are on my drive and before I can get to a Google document I should select one. So I'll select struggling teacher. Now if you take a look at the comments on the right hand side, they are visible for everybody to see. But perhaps I want to comment someone individually and I don't want anybody else to know what is said. In that case I'm going to go to file, scroll down, and email collaborators. And here I have a couple different recipient options. These are all the collaborators on the document. So I save time and I don't have to type in a person's email. It's there for the choosing. So let's say I want to email Janine and I don't want Francis Peter or Anne Marie to find out about it. I can unclick them. And now the comment between me and Janine will be personal and just between me and Janine. Do you think everyone in the group is working equally? I can also send a copy to myself. And because this is an email, Janine will be notified immediately. I'm ensured that she's going to receive this, not this comment and this notification, and it will be personal between just Janine and myself. So let's send that. And I'm going to show you an example of what it looks like to receive the copy, and I'm going to show you an example of what it looks like to receive an email from somebody else. And this is a copy of the email that I sent Janine. And here's a private message I also received from Janine. Hey, do you think I can borrow the Glipman book? And now we're finishing up the first four units of Google Training. And if you've been working on these videos, I hope you're trying them out in the classroom. Uh, you know, don't worry about making a mistake if a lesson doesn't work. Don't stress yourself out. You know, I'm in a district where I have a principal, a supervisor, and superintendent that I trust in Ms. Simmons, Lewittis, and Dr. Helfont. So I'm not really too worried about making a mistake, but you shouldn't be worried about making a mistake either. The best way to really learn is to go out and try these documents and make mistakes. Because the best way to learn is through mistakes and experimentation. So right now I just want to say thank you for your time, and please watch the next video in the series, YouTube in the Classroom.